Hello my wonderful students, this is Mrs. Darmody and in this video I want to introduce you to the Google Docs 101 project assignment. This is an assignment that uh, will allow you to demonstrate to me that you know how to use some of the most important tools in a Google Doc. So that is what you are going to be demonstrating. So the first thing you'll be doing, of course, to get to this document and this assignment is you're opening up this, this assignment in our Google Classroom. Once you open it, what you'll see here is that um, you're going to demonstrate that you can use the toolbar, which is right, shows you what it is right here. This is your horizontal toolbar and your menu bar which is out right up here with file edit etc to format a google doc and this is the google doc you're using to demonstrate that so you're going to be using tools to change the appearance of this document you're going to be underlining title etc etc so you're kind of going to complete the tasks in the table below there are little boxes for you to do all the tasks if you don't know how to do a task you watch the little video link and to learn how so let's scroll down and in the first box it says type your first name and last name in the box below and change the font to a font style of your choice if you aren't sure how to do that you can watch the little video um, it was supposed to be Ariel sorry all right so I type my name and I want to make it a different font. So I'm going to highlight the words right to left or left to right either way. And I'm going to go up and I can choose any of my most recently used font styles or from the alphabetical list. Or I can go to more fonts to look for something I like. So comic. No. Um, cabin sketch. I can choose that. I don't like that though, so I'm going to go back. So I happen to like the lobster or the Pacifico. I'm going to choose Pacifico and there it is. You can change the size a little bit as long as it fits in the box nicely. Um, on to step two, change the size of your text font to match each of the numbers in the box below. So you're going to select, highlight that first one and it says it's eight point font. So you need to go up to the font size and change that to an 8. You can see it's quite tiny. And then the next one says 14, so you highlight that. And you go up to your font size and you make that a 14. On the third one, it says 24, so you highlight that uh, those numbers. Go up to the font size and make that 24. For the next one, you highlight the numbers go up here look for 36 and there you go so you've got 8 point font 14 point font 24 and 36 now it says type the name of your favorite color in the box below and change the color of the text to match that color so I'm going to type the word um, purple because I like the color purple now I need to change the color of that text to match the name. So I need to go up. This is my capital A to change the text color. And I'm going to go down here oh, and I'm going to choose purple. That's kind of blah, so I'm going to bold it as well. You don't have to, but I felt like it. On to the next one. Now this tells uh, the directions here say highlight the words below and match the highlight color to the word name. So I'm going to highlight the word red. Now I need to highlight my text. We're not changing the, the actual text color. It's the highlight color. Two different things. So I'm going to choose red. Now I'm going to go down, highlight the word orange. And I'm going to go to my highlight and I'm going to choose orange. Now I'm going to um, click on the yellow and I'm going to highlight yellow and now blue I highlight the word blue go up to my highlight and I'm going to choose I can choose a different shade of blue I guess 
And now we're going to go down to green, highlight the word green, go up to highlight, and click on green. And then purple. Now remember over here I made the word purple, the text. This time I'm doing the highlight. So I go up to highlight, and I'm choosing purple. Ta-da! Look at all my highlights. Remember that any of these things you get stuck on, there are little videos. I didn't create all those videos, but some of them I did. On to the next one. Uh, number five says bold, italicize, and underline the words below to match the style they describe. For example, bold the word bold. Okay, if you're not sure what to do, highlight this. So I highlight the word bold, and I'm going to go up to my bolded B. There it is italic so I'm going to highlight the word italic and I'm going to italicize that then I'm going to highlight the word underline and I'm going to underline that Ta -da! now this is something I see a lot of students aren't sure what to do this says align the words below center align the word center so this is the center align left align the word left there's your left align Right align the word right, and there's your right align. If you're not sure how I do it, watch the video. So I'm going to highlight this word, and I'm going to center it. Then I'm going to highlight the word left, and I'm going to left align it. Then I'm going to highlight the word right. And if you weren't sure, see how when I hover over it, it says right align? There we go. And it's all within the box. Easy enough. Now it says insert an image of your favorite animal in the box below. If you weren't sure how to do it, you could watch the little video. So here's a little, you want to make sure you click on the box first. Insert image. And of course we're going to search the web because we don't have one readily available. And I'm going to search for a puppy because I love puppies. Especially my own little puppy. Oh, look how cute. I'll choose that one. And then I say insert. Ta-da! Now if I want to make it smaller or resize it, I just click on the image. And I can just resize that a little bit. Okay. Um, now it says, the number eight says create a numbered list uh, in the box below of your three favorite foods. So, I want to create a numbered list. So I can go over here and say numbered list. My three favorite foods. Um, pizza. See how you hit enter at the end of the word pizza and it automatically makes a new number for you. Pizza. Ice cream. Um, at the end of that word I hit my enter key and it brings me down for number three. And hmm, what else could I put? Um, lobster. Okay, all set. And again, if you wanted more instruction on that, you can watch the little video. So now we go down to step number nine. Create a bulleted list of your of three things you'd like to have like to do for fun in the box below. Okay, so I click on the box below. I'm going to make a bulleted list this time. Um, and I'm going to say, watch movies. I hit enter. Um, walk the dog. Um, go to the beach. Oops, we don't want that. Now these are a little bit off as far as the alignment. So I think, oh, because it's on center alignment. That's why. So I'm going to put it on left alignment because it looks much better that way. Um, so now for the next one, it says insert a link to the Backwick Middle School website in the box below. So I'm going to insert link and back with 
little school. Will it come up in my search? Look at that. Apply. Ta-da! Wasn't that easy? Oh my goodness, it's so easy. Okay, now we move on to this one. Now this one, inserting a table seems to confuse a lot of students between the rows and the columns. So I'm going to go through this carefully. We want to insert a two by two, meaning two columns and two rows, table into the box below. So first of all, you want to go to insert and you want to go to table. Now, as far as selecting the columns, remember columns go up and down. So we want one, two columns and then rows go left to right. Rows go across like this. So two columns, one, two rows. So we click on that. Ta-da! Isn't that easy? And I already showed you this one. So now we move on to the next one. And I already showed you that one. So now the last thing to do is to turn it in. I'm not sure if we'll do the reflection or not. We'll see if time permits for that. But if you see that uh, in either the Google Stream or the Google Work, uh, your, um, your assignments page, then you'll see that. But you're going to turn this in, which you should see a turn in button up here, and then you're all set.